come with me come with and you see you Okay, I forgot. 
Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another uh, edition of the In Focus series. This afternoon, we have the kindergarten program of the Basic yeah. Education Department of Holy Name University. We are bringing back to the hot seat the principal and uh, other staff, and we're joined today by a new face, Miss Geraldine Taniesa. So, uh, without further ado, let us deep dive into the kindergarten program of Holy Name University. Uh, let's have a round of introductions from our distinguished panelists. Let's start with the uh, principal, Dr. Legitimas. Thank you, Mamber. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon to our uh, FB followers of HMU Official. Uh, I am Dr. Prisiano Legitimas. Um, my, our my, my colleagues used to call me Sir Ligi. Uh, with us this this afternoon in this in focus, uh, Mamver is our uh, former academic coordinator of the grade school, now the uh, integrated language uh, coordinator, Dr. Lisel Dupeño, and should I say the veteran teacher of the grade school, HNU grade school, preschool or, or kindergarten, Ma'am Jing Tanyesa. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon, colleagues. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for allowing us to do this so that our uh, friends, our, uh, our prospective uh, uh, students and their parents uh, will know everything about the kindergarten program of Holy Name University. Mom Lisel? Yes, uh, I was already introduced by Sir. So I would just like to say that I am in charge of the integrated languages area, at the same time tasked to supervise the kindergarten and preschool levels. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, and we have uh, Mom, uh, a new face this afternoon, Mom Geraldine Tanyesa. Hi, Mom. Yes, good afternoon, ma'am. Um, I'm Teacher Jane Tanyesa, uh, but the kindergartner called me Teacher Jane. I, it's been a very long time. I almost um, handled a kindergarten for 17 years now. Wow. And for the first time, it's my first time to handle the preschool uh, this year during the pandemic. Um, it's a very challenging year for me because it's almost uh, first time. Uh, today, it's my first time to be interviewed live <laughs> for 17 years. Wow. Uh, yes, okay. Mom Bear. Thank you. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for uh, having the open heart and mind to do this. But um, uh, we, we talked about this at the basic education in focus. And uh, we're going to bring um, the different programs into uh, the in focus so that everyone will be informed. So uh, question, the first question. Um, tell me about the kindergarten program of Holy Name University. Shall we start with uh, Dr. Um, Legitimas? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, good afternoon once again, Robert. Um, we all know that the mandatory kindergarten uh, this time, the kindergarten program are being offered in the public schools, uh, elementary public schools, and in some other private schools having the basic education. Uh, this is mandatory by virtue of Republic Act 10, 15, 7 uh, in preparation for the implementation of Republic Act 10533, which is the uh, ba enhanced basic uh, education program of the Department of Education. However, Holy Name University, before many years back before the government made the kindergarten program mandatory to, to all schools. The kindergarten program of Holy Name University was already there as early as, if I'm not mistaken, as early as 19, 1996, uh, it 
I understand uh, the kindergarten program of Holy Name University evolves as from time to time. Uh, it's as far as I know, it it was it started with kindergarten one, kindergarten two, and then after kindergarten two, that's the time that uh, pupils would proceed to the elementary program of the basic ed. Then when mandatory kindergarten was implemented, we face out the name only. We face out the name kindergarten one and two and, and uh, change it into kindergarten. And the kindergarten one was named into preschool. I, I think it's father, the father president now, father dudes, uh, declared that when he was still our vice president for academic affairs because that was the time that mandatory kindergarten was implemented uh republic act 1057 so father dude said so your kindergarten one uh name it preschool and then after preschool then kindergarten proper and then uh grade grade one uh well, I should say our kindergarten program of where at Holy Name University is a very dynamic program. Dynamic because from we we do not remain stagnant in our program, no. Uh, from Dr. Depenio and Mom Teacher Jing could vouch on that later in in their respective sharing. We it's a dynamic uh, kindergarten. From time to time, we will we will implement the latest trend in in kindergarten if we found out that the the trend is very effective and uh yeah effective sa ato ang mga 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 pupils so i should say the kindergarten program of holy name university is uh very established it's very established program as a vital part of the elementary level uh, level of the basic education department that's what i have said the kindergarten program was already there many years ago before the implementation of the mandatory kindergarten uh, as part of the basic enhanced basic enhanced basic education uh, program so thank you thank you over thank you very much um that you mentioned 1996 <laughs> brought back some memories to me because my children what, 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 born 96, how old are you with <laughs> my children born 94 and born 96 the two actually went to oh, yeah. uh, the preschool i forgot about that <laughs> the yeah, one, the, girl, the girl went to summer school before he she went to kindergarten one and then kindergarten two the uh the, the the male the Justin ahead of him also went to kindergarten but uh, I was actually able to uh, make it to um grade two before they uh moved uh with me to the US so I really yes. forgot about that when I said I don't know anything <laughs> actually I I was there when we started okay thank you very actually, much during, for during the time during the time of where parang uh having sent your children to the kindergarten is something a rare opportunity elitist kayo ang kindergarten program during that time uh, until such time that the government mandates that mandatory kindergarten should be offered in all schools so that everybody could have a chance to to undergo the kindergarten program <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you very much for that sir i remember the the kindergarten uh classroom was like near now the pcr uh president's conference room and the restroom was just beside it so thank you very much for yeah, yeah. reminding me yeah. <laughs> anyway mom lisel okay. yes my warmest greetings to all our viewers here in tagbilaran city in the whole province of bohol and even in the other parts of the globe. Thanks for this opportunity, Mam Vera, to present the kindergarten curriculum to everyone. Our kindergarten curriculum is designed to prepare our very young kids, the four and the five-year-old learners in the formal literacy world. 
that's the beginning of a lengthy academic path. But our kindergarten and preschool are still in the informal level or informal learning um, process. Since the preschool and kindergarten levels are considered as transition levels, we make it a point that kids find schooling relaxing, interesting, and unforgettable. So the child-centered curriculum allows every learner to develop holistically. There are three major learning areas that are given focus, which are treated equally. First, we put a premium on oral fluency. So we teach reading, beginning with phonemic and phonological awareness, because we believe that awareness of phonemes is the best predictor of early success in reading. We want all our kindergarten computers to be good readers. We always prepare interactive activities to keep our pupils engaged, particularly in our mathematics le learning area. Manipulatives are used for the learners to be able to connect from abstract ideas to concrete. The use of manipulatives help them construct an understanding of ideas. We provide very lively songs or sing-alongs or classic storytelling, and this stimulate our young learners to be excited about studying life cycles, matter, animals, and plants with the unique hands-on group activities. These learning activities in science are bound to captivate students' interest, having them endlessly asking for more. They do real planting, they act as botanists and geologists as part of their performance task, which is recorded or being documented and given to the teacher for assessment. We provide them also varied play activities and which this form part of the day-to-day -day learning activities that they have that will lead them to become emergent literate and make them all set for the formal schooling. Um, Friday actually is a real fun day for all the kids, a time for them to be spent for games, a nature fun walk, a library time where they spend the time for pleasure reading. We also have one of the features in our kindergarten, the, what we call as the circle time, an opportunity for them to uh, practice leadership uh, where the idea of patriotism is also introduced. Their spiritual and social development are developed as well as they take turns in uh, leading prayers. Um, they take turns in doing the tasks given to them. And it's also worthy to note that we really have given importance on the development of self-help skills for our kids, not just the academic, but more importantly is the self help skills so that they will be able to survive if being left by themselves. These skills are really important for the children to acquire. An array of interesting activities is prepared for our kids to gain the skills needed for them to be able to work on tasks independently, even at their young age, like dressing up, tying up shoelaces, preparing their own food packs, uh, preparing the table, setting it for snacks or meal. And this, their exposure to this kind of uh, uh, experience will surely uh, make them ready for the real world. So uh, that's all I could say for our curriculum. Teacher Jing. Thank you very much. Yes, um, Mr. Teacher Jing. Yeah, um, Ms. L already divulged our secret. <laughs> um, um, every time we do the activity, Ms. L will be the first one and then sir, because um, it's very exciting for me to give another a fun field, fun Friday activities. And sir, will uh, sir Legitimus will really say, oh, that's good. And the Ms. L Sige, keep it up, go. And every time the little kids will come on a Friday, they are very, very eager to see what will be the next activity they are coming. 
And then they will show their products, they will show their inputs and outputs to their parents. And even uh, they will make some cards for their moms. And the, the parents are surprised, how do you do this one? Is it really you? They, they will be asking, yes, ma, we do this one at uh, school. So the, so the Friday fun day is very exciting for them because they will be rooming around the campus. It's either this Friday will be picking up some leaves or the next Friday they will be doing some um, segregation from the trashes, the bottles. Then on the next Friday there will be games. So the kindergarten are really engaged and they are happy to be in HMU. That's all thing. Thank you very much for sharing. Sir, you have more to add or what does a day, uh, what does a uh, class uh, hours look like? Like, is it two hours or four hours and what happens within that time frame? Mr. Jean could elaborate for the number of hours. Um, yes. We have yes. two and a half hours. Um, uh, during face-to-face, -face, we have three sessions. Um, one in the morning and the middle class and the afternoon class. So they will start at 7.30 for the morning. Then the next batch will be on 10.30. And they will be doing the lunchtime, the second batch. And the last batch is from 1.30 mm -mm, to 4. Thank you very much. And then... Um, and then that the structure is for that two and a half hours, uh, the beginning and an end and uh, activities in between. How yes, many? Yes. The circle time, Mam Vera, is still part of the whole structure. For every session, there is what we call that circle time integrated there right. in the schedule. Right. Okay. And um, and uh, how many is the class size? Fifteen. Um, it depends. Usually, it depends, ma'am. Uh, sometimes we split it into three because it's a very big um, um, class size. Uh, before, I have 20 to 30. So that's why Sir Dijilima said, oh, that's too big for kindergarten. And then there are some parents also who will be asking, how big is your class size? Okay. Then some some foreigners will say, oh, you're a super woman. You handled 30 kids and they're so young. Okay. So right now, uh, our class size is 15 to 20. 12 to, 12 to 15. So, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add on, um, on um, the kindergarten program? Um, Actually, there were there were school years actually before that we had we had so many kindergarten kinder uh, kinder uh, in enrollees. So that's why uh, yeah, Mam Jing had mentioned we reached up to thirty, which is really uh, almost non tolerable <laughs> maximum population. But maluoy man pud mo refuse kinta no so. Uh, we divided the sessions into three. So first, more uh, morning session, and then actually, originally, when when Mom Liesel was the academic coordinator, and it was my kind uh, bago pang year ko sa, sa grade school. Uh, it's it's not AMPM lang ang session. Mm -hmm. so right, I remember. So yeah, AMPM, and then that that school, those school years that I mentioned. Yeah, we increase you kayo ang at one kindergarten. So we open a, I think it's a Jing, uh, call it middle, middle session, teacher yes, Jing, uh -oh. uh, middle session, which uh, kindergarten, kinder pupils uh, in, enrolled in that time schedule would spend their lunch there, sa, sa classroom na. And then to, to in, in our effort to maintain Excellence and quality service, member. Uh, the administration approved our proposal to to hire a teacher assistant. Mm. So, 
yeah, one teacher assistant for the kindergarten and then one teacher assistant for the preschool. Okay. So, and it's just so sad a reality when the pandemic uh, hit us. Um, so many parents pulled out their pulled out their children from our kindergarten program and preschool, a pre elem program. Uh, but uh, mostly because of safety and of, mm -hmm. of course a financial financial reason, financial constraint, uh, especially those uh, parents who, who who were working abroad. So that is why we only have 15. So this time in our infocus, uh, I would like to invite those who are viewing us, uh, parents who are having children within that age range of kindergarten and preschool, we invite them to, to join us in our program. We have a very dynamic pre-elementary program with our with a preschool and a kindergarten. Uh, I would just like to mention this <laughs> uh, one best feature of our kindergarten. After kindergarten, that's what Dr. Dupinio had said, they are ready for the elementary program. Ready in, in a sense that our graduates in the kindergarten could already read and, and write. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And even, even during the graduate write. Even do and, uh, mathematical, simple mathematical. Yeah. Uh, uh, operation. I really I take vouch. pride. I really take pride of. <laughs> I really take pride of our kindergarten graduates during their graduation. That during the Thanksgiving mass, they were the ones doing the the readings, the the uh, prayers of the faithful. They are managing right. Uh, sila ang mag mag himo ane tana no. Ani nga mga kwan. So that is one one fact that uh, physical where, where uh, our the product of our kindergarten will be physically manifested. It's during one 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 avenue is during the graduation rites and during the Thanksgiving mass. <laughs> okay, so I think Mom Jing and Mom Dupinio could still add more about our kindergarten. I can really Thank vouch you. to that, sir, because. Even if I forgot, I, I really forgot, but um, my daughter was, uh, was uh, in 2001 or 2002 was the, the, um, high, the first, uh, what you call this, uh, the honor, ba. but I was not here and, and that's why I miss it. But I remember that she um, delivered the valedictory or whatever address, uh, the, the top one in the class. <laughs> I really, I really forgot that part. But my, both the children went to kindergarten, and uh, the the girl just finished kinder one and two, and then went abroad. The the son went to kinder one and two, and then grade one and two, so four years. So, but and I can really vouch to that uh, that they really can read and recite and uh, deliver poems and and everything and know their um sounds. Oh, thank you very much because they were able to um, do it well also uh, when they moved to um, California. So, Mom Jing, yes, you are still on mute, Mom. Oh. Thank you. Anything else going... that you'd like to add or Mom Lisel? At, at, at this time of pandemic, Mom Vera, we assure the parents that though they are in the... Uh, preschool or uh, kindergarten level, they, the children can learn effectively through the video lectures, very animated video lectures prepared by our teacher. Um, they learn at their own pace because we use the asynchronous. Right. Although we are planning and we are entertaining to introduce synchronous, but at their age, at their age, they could hardly manage the synchronous. So we go for uh, asynchronous so that parents could really sit down and uh, supervise the kids, which uh, we consider actually our parents as uh, our learning partners, uh, our coaches in this time of pandemic. So with the asynchronous that we offer as our modality, children could learn from the video lectures prepared by the teachers and they can 
right away communicate through um, email and you can even conduct the uh, conference, live conference, one-on-one -on -one with the kids if there is really a need. So come and be with us at Holy Name University Kindergarten and preschool level. Thank you very much. So it's, is it still the, is it all um, uh, digital or what, what, how does that work? Same, for uh, there is the digital choice. offline, there is asynchronous digital offline and non-digital, like those who really wish for the printed materials because they don't have the connectivity. Okay. But there are many who are online. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Teacher Jing, you have anything else to add? Um, during this pandemic, it taught me some things that kids can really learn with their family. Um, it's, some uh, parents told me, Mom, it made us um, closer. And we know that uh, kids but yeah, they are very um, knowledgeable. They are so techy, mom. Today, kids knows where to look for. <laughs> the mommies will be the one to ask, where is it? <laughs> then they say, oh, that's my teacher. Uh, sometimes in their performance tasks, they look like bloggers. They will say, hello, hello, teacher. And today we will be reading. Oh, they are like bloggers. They go, wow, they are so animated. And every time um, parents posted some um, performance tasks, they will, I will really give them a feedback. Yes. And maybe that's uh, our reason why I am still attached with their kids. Even um, during grocery, they will really say, Mom, it's Teacher Jing. Oh, wow. they, they can recognize me because last year, we have so many fun activities together with the preschool. And the, uh, those kids are my kindergartners now. So the parents are saying, Oh, that's your teacher. Yeah, we know that's our teacher. Um, she's teacher Jing. So that's why I really miss those times that the kids are having with me, uh, time with me. During the face-to-face. -face. Yes, during the face-to-face. -face. Thank you very much. I learned a lot. I remembered a lot. And I'm so grateful. So uh, before we close uh, this quick, um, this quick uh, in focus this afternoon, I'd like to just ask a round of... Uh, uh, answers for my favorite question why HNU? Why enroll your uh, children in the HNU pre elementary education or kindergarten program? I'll start with uh, Mom Lisel. Yes. Um, why at HNU? Because at Holy Name University, we provide a customized instruction. Well, wherein our learners are given multiple ways to learn. It's not a one-size-fits-all instruction. Another reason is our provision of the learning materials, which are really varied, like blocks. Uh, I don't have to enumerate all reading materials, magnifying glasses, charts, and all. Another thing is uh, the organization in the classroom, which allow all learners to move around. Uh, all types of learners are really given the opportunity to sit or to be placed in the area where they are really suited, like those who can see uh, at close range, they are seated at the close area in the board. So the, stru the structure of the classroom is really designed for our kids. The fourth one is the, the very warm, welcoming environment uh, in school that is for our parents and our kids. And I think Maveri, you can vouch that. And last but not the least is our before and after care that we provide to our kids. Kids are sometimes brought to school early than scheduled or earlier than scheduled and, and fed uh, very late after dismissal. So the teachers will serve as the nurse, the yaya, and the guard for our kids. We provide all of this for our kids. Mm -hmm. And that is why, and these are the reasons why we go for H and U. 
Uh, yes, teacher team, take it away. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we develop uh, our kids to have self-esteem, um, they are morally upright, and they are given um, spiritual values also. Um, that's why we have a program that is holistic and it develops the whole child, not only the mind, but the whole child. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, save the best for last, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, well, I really invite our, our parents to send their children in our kindergarten program because uh, in our kindergarten, actually their children do not leave home. When they when their children will be in school, it's just like home. That's what Mom Mom Lisa said a while ago. It's just like home. Uh, our teachers, not only teacher Jing, uh, it's it's everybody's business. It's everybody's care. Our you know our kindergarten being the youngest. Uh, yeah, being one of the youngest. Uh, in fact, parents from where some parents just just uh, left their their uh, medicine, for example, if their children are not feeling well. And then it's, yeah, yeah it's our, our nurse or, or it's a gene who do the, <laughs> the, what do you call that in, in, in nursing? And then, a timing. Nursing, was, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that, that's it. So actually, they don't, they don't really leave, leave home. No? They will be in uh, HNU kindergarten. And again, I would I would like to reiterate our kindergarten program is really a dynamic program. If what we we found out is uh, proven to be best for our children, then we will lobby that for the administration for the implementation. And our our, our administration also is very supportive. In fact, it's a special mention of the president and his cabinet to give focus on our preschool and kindergarten. Uh, and with that, uh, even if we are in the pandemic, we are preparing both possibilities. Uh, from teacher Jing and Michelle, we are now thinking and uh, it's just a matter of sitting down on what to do to improve our, our uh, learning platform if this pandemic will go on the, uh, God forbids, the whole duration of the next school year. But in God's grace, kung mawala ng pandemic, I would like to inform everyone over that our kindergarten has a new home in the campus. Yes, <laughs> yes uh, it's ongoing. It's ongoing. And uh, one feature I think that our parents would uh, uh, favor is they will no longer be uh, advised to keep distance of their children because the new home of our kindergarten is designed they'll just be in the vicinity and be able to to see their children because mm -hmm. I understand ang wall ana is a one-way mirror so mm -hmm. the children could not see them but the parents could uh, view their children uh, having the, the, the class in, in our the location is the former uh, canteen, yeah. uh, other than the for, grade six. former grade, grade six. six classroom, okay. and I think with that is also a uh, play play playroom, Mam right? Yes, uh, yes, sir. Playroom, yeah. playroom. Uh, playroom, out indoor playroom. So those those are those are the features that we will be. Uh, Offering to our kindergarten pupils, um, either or, if the pandemic will go on, then uh, we are preparing for uh, a better service. If God, with God's grace, during the pandemic, then they will be enjoying living in a new home, yeah. the kindergarten home. Okay, so again. Uh, join us, be with, be with us at, at Holy Name University in our kindergarten, uh, calling young parents, <laughs> young parents uh, mm -hmm. to send their children in our kindergarten program, the preschool for four years old and kindergarten proper for uh, five years old. Our grade one will be uh, uh, age grade uh, 
six years old. And by the way, I would like to plug in along where our graduation of our kindergarten will be on June 18, Dr. Lisa, no? Dr. June 18 in the afternoon. The afternoon, sir. 18 in the afternoon. So, uh, this is also our way of inviting you, Mom, where uh, the father president will be already will be there in the in the graduation rights. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> inviting you yes. to be with us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> More memories came to mind of a mother wow. <laughs> uh, go, bringing the children to kinder one and two. And the, the doctor was always saying, go, you go, because I have the same uniform as the, the teacher. So she doesn't want her classmates to know that I am, I am also uh, in h &U. Anyway, uh, I, it's such a, that's such a, that gives you a sense of uh, uh, what you call the security for the children to be really there and that, that the, the, the yayas or the yayos and the parents can really watch the children. And if uh, we can organize programs for the parents also in terms of, you know, like a cooking class or whatever, that will be also a good, um, uh, you know, like uh, something uh, good for the parents and the children yeah. as well. So, while waiting, while waiting, yes. while they wait. <laughs> yes, while they wait. So uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. This has been Vera. Will you see though the marketing and advertising officer of Holy Name University bringing you another edition of the InFocus series? InFocus is a series of panel discussions um, with a hope and intention of bringing more information to our stakeholders, parents, future uh, students that who are planning to enroll in Holy Name University. We already did the College of Business and Accountancy, the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Health, um, Health Sciences, the College of uh, Education. And uh, last week, we had the College of uh, the Basic Education Department. Yesterday, we had the Senior High School. Today, we have the Kindergarten Program. Tomorrow, at the same time, 2 p.m., we have the ISPED program of the basic education department. Next week, we will have the junior grade high school. school and the grade school. And then pro probably the other uh, programs also of Holy Name University, like BS Ed uh, or engineering and, and stuff like that. So uh, tune in and uh, uh, wait for this occasion. So. Thank you very much, Sir Legit, Mom, Lisa, Thank you, Mamela. Thank you. Jing. It's been a pleasure spending uh, the afternoon with you. And I hope that our uh, listeners, our Facebook uh, likers, followers, our other um, faculty and staff of Holy Name University are also uh, watching us this afternoon. Thank you very much and good afternoon. I'll keep this uh, for a li little bit, but um, and you can say goodbye. Thank you. And then I will close in uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Bye.